Hi everybody, this is Jeff again, and today we're going to talk about how to use EBSCO to help you make an APA citation for an article you're going to use in a paper. So a lot of classes at Front Range ask for MLA citations, but if you're in, in a science class or a nursing class or a CNA class, medical classes or the science classes generally are going to probably ask you for an APA citation. So I'm going to show you how to how to do that today and how to have EBSCO help you do that. So I did a search here, um, did a search just for smoking in the title and cancer in the title of the articles and it doesn't really matter what you search for. I'm going to pull up an article here and let's let's get to work in creating a citation for this. So after I click on it the article comes up and here's the here's the abstract and the citation for the article but this is not going to be an APA citation. I mean, It has all the information you need, but if you want some help on making a citation, what you can do over here on the side, see that little thing that says cite? We're going to click on that, and then it gives you a list of citations in different formats. And here's the one we're looking for, APA. And if you're in case you're curious, that stands for the American Psychological Association. That's a uh, format standard that was set by this association and a lot of science organizations have just kind of adopted it and said that and that works for us too. So what we can do, we can just highlight this and we're going to copy and paste this into a Word document. Because while it's pretty good, uh, it is going to take some editing to make it correct APA. So I took that, I'm going to right click on there and copy it. Now I'm going to open up a Word document. So I'm just going to open up my Word program. And when this comes up, I'm going to set up a page for uh, doing references in APA style. So the last page of your paper in an APA style paper should say references. And that's going to list all the articles you used in your paper to write your article. I'm going to center that. Okay. And I'm going to go down to the next line here. I'm going to put this over to the left. And I'm going to paste in what I copied from EBSCO, that citation. So when it comes in, uh, I notice there's some problems with it. The font looks a little bit weird, and it's it's indented too far over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all this, and first I'm going to correct the font. So I'm going to set that to a standard font. You, can't, you really can't go wrong with Times New Roman. It's pretty much the most standard font. It's acceptable for MLA and APA, and uh, it's just very readable. Maybe not that exciting, but it's very readable and you always get by with that. I took out the uh, the extra space that was in there. I noticed there was an extra space. Okay, so now you can notice here from looking at the ruler, the whole thing's indented over, which that shouldn't be. And I'm not sure this is double spaced or not, but we'll set it to double spaced. And that's we'll just do some other things to this. I'm going to highlight this. A lot of these things you can fix by going in here to paragraph. Oh, also there needs to be a hanging indent, which means the first line needs to be flush over to the left margin and all future lines need to be indented a half inch over. So it's kind of like a reverse indent of a paragraph. In par a paragraph, the first line's indented over half an inch, the rest of the lines are over to the left margin. Uh, with citations, it's the opposite. So what we can do is go in here to paragraph, and I can see by default the whole thing is indented over. That should be set to zero. So I set the left indentation to zero. Now under the special is where I can set that hanging indent. I'm going to change that to hanging. Line spacing, let's make sure that's double. And I'm going to, I always click this little button, don't add extra spaces between the paragraphs. That, that helps sometimes, because sometimes uh, Word will add weird little spaces when you copy and paste from the internet. Okay, so that's a much better looking citation now. Let's take a look and see if everything's correct in this. You definitely want to double check. So we have the author's names. Those look good. And you're supposed to use that ampersand for and here before the last author. We've got a period there. That's good. Now something that's kind of, let me see, that looks like a lot of space, but I guess that's, that's right. Uh, one thing that's interesting about APA as opposed to MLA, in APA the first letter of the, the first word of the title is going to be capitalized. The rest of the words are going to be lowercase notice that unless unless it's a proper name and uh, sometimes EBSCO will mess up with that and will capitalize all the words but uh, these this looks like it did it correctly and when you have a period then the, the name of the journal should be in italics which it is comma this stands for the volume of the issue the volume this journal was published in volume one 
uh, I'm sorry, volume 25, issue 1. Issue should be in, in parentheses like that. Comma, this is the page numbers. It was on page 82 to 96, period. And then DOI, this is the digital object identifier. And APA prefers this. If you can, if you can identify where this is online, this is like it's this article's internet serial number. And even though we got it out of EBSCO, this takes precedence because this is the most specific way to reference this article online. So we're going to leave the DOI in there. And curiously enough, it doesn't require a period at the end. MLA at the end of their citations always asks for a period, but APA doesn't. So that is a good looking citation. So I'm going to push enter and we're going to do another citation. Because not, you're not always going to have this DOI. And if you don't have a DOI, there's kind of a different way that it's done. Let me go back here to EBSCO now. <clears throat> and I've cheated a little bit. I, I looked earlier at this article list and I know that there's one of these in here that does not have a digital object identifier. So from my notes I have that it was article 4 once this thing gets done loading. So I'm going to go down here and find this one. You, you shouldn't necessarily look for this but this is probably something you're going to see and if you didn't know about this it would throw you off. Okay, so we've got the article up here. We're going to go again into the site button. Okay, we've got the APA reference there. My phone's ringing. Let's see if I can uh, talk to this person later. I think so. Just says wireless caller. <laughs> hey, this is live. This is live uh, television. This, these, these things happen. Okay, so let's see how many rings is that going to be? Four or five? And I, I promise I am going to call the person back. I just, you're more important to me right now. Okay, so we got the APA citation there. Going to right click there. Going to copy that. And uh, I'm going to go back to my Word document here. And I'm going to paste that in. Hope that wasn't an important call. Oh, whatever. They'll leave a message if it was important. Anyway, okay, so we've got the same, the same things here. Uh, let's take a look at this and see what we'd want to do. Going to take this first and set the obvious things. Times New Roman, 12 point. Okay, you notice again it's indented all the way over. It's just for whatever reason EBSCO's doing that when you so you definitely want to take a look at these and make sure that you check them before you do this. Okay, uh, let's go into the paragraph button here. Okay, let's bring that back down to zero. Special, it's set to hanging. Double spaced. And then don't add extra spaces, please. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And uh, let's take a look at it and see. Okay, the authors look good. They got the ampersand period after the year. And again, they did it right again. I'm, I'm, pleasantly, I'm pleasantly surprised when that rule is followed that the, uh, the words that are not the first word are not capitalized. That's good. Okay. And then San Francisco Bay Area, I guess that's all capitalized. They felt that was proper. Um, I'm not sure. I'm personally, I hope this is right, I'm going to take that down to area. I don't think area should be capitalized. Anyway, we got uh, BMC Cancer. That's a journal that was published in in italics. That's good. And this was in, apparently, this is the issue here, 11138. And then retrieved from, okay, notice there's no DOI on this one. So we have to do retrieved from. Where did you find it? Um, but the APA manual says what it wants is that it wants a, a URL. Okay, so this is pretty good, but it wants a little bit more. What you can do is do uh, put uh, like a, let's take a look here at the top of let's do this. I'm going to take HTTP colon slash slash web ebscohost.com. That right there is enough. So you don't need that whole thing. Let me see if I can um, see if I can get just the beginning of that in my copy and paste. There we go. So actually, what APA wants to see is this retrieved from. that retrieved from and the website address and you only have to give the web address of the home page of this database and that is the the URL of EBSCO's home page okay so that's good enough now um, so this looks good right now and I don't think a period is required at the end I am looking at the APA manual right now and no again there's no period required so I'm gonna get rid of that now something funny might happen here when I hit enter let's see uh, did you see that Look at that. So Word automatically converted this into an actual functioning URL, which I could click on and go to the website. Now this, generally, I think this looks a little funny in papers because you're going to turn this in in some kind of a print format, probably. 
And uh, it looks a little funny. So not that you're going to print in color, but we've got this underline. It just looks non-standard. If you want to take that out so it's just the text and not a working link, highlight it, right click on it, and click remove hyperlink. Okay, and now it's just text. All right. So that's a good that's a good looking couple of citations there. Let me see the spacing looks correct between them. I'm just going to double check. I'm going to highlight all this, go into paragraph and make sure we're not going to add extra space. That's why I put that in there. Okay, looks looks pretty clean. And let me make sure here that we're not adding extra space anywhere. Ooh, look at that. It might be adding a little extra space. Let me Okay, well it looks good. Okay, so there is an example of how to use EBSCO to create APA citations. Uh, for the articles that you have used for the research in your classes. So uh, that is pretty much how it works. If you have any questions, please contact me or come by the library and I'll help you one-on-one -on -one with this stuff because I know that it's kind of tricky. But I think if you do this a few times with EBSCO, I, th I, think, you'll, I think you'll get this. It's, if you do it a couple of times, it's not that bad. Also, we have APA manuals in the library if you want to consult those. We even have some you could check out. So uh, thanks a lot. Until next time, this is Jeff signing off.